Hey, what's going on, Colts Nation? So I wanted to make just a quick video. We dropped uh, our thoughts on the whole Jonathan Taylor, Jim Irsay, that whole situation regarding the contract and things like that last night. And as I was kind of looking at some of the comments, I think some people kind of took what I was saying I think in a wrong way that I was meaning to communicate it. And so I just wanted to make this quick follow-up video to kind of clarify where I stand on the whole Jonathan Taylor situation, this whole situation when it comes to the contract, paying running backs, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to start off by saying, and this was just something that I felt like people kind of took this out of context, was like, Cody doesn't want to pay Jonathan Taylor. And that's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is I definitely understand completely the fact that Jonathan Taylor is one of the best running backs in football. He's critical to what the Colts do offensively, right? He's a guy that you want around with a rookie quarterback, Anthony Richardson, all that stuff. I completely understand that. Love JT as a player, and I hope the Colts do extend him, right? With that being said, the argument that I'm making, and this is kind of a core belief that I've had for a while, is just when it comes to running backs, just running backs in general, not just JT, just running backs, with how the game has evolved the last five to ten years, running backs have kind of become, I mean, really obsolete in a lot of ways in terms of, you know, importance of position, right? And so, for me, when I think about running backs, I think just with the, how the game has evolved, how r the running back position has evolved, not in a good way for the running backs, like it's just not as valuable, right? It's still important. Like it's important to have a good running game and a good running back. But I think for me, when I think of the running back, I just, I think you have to be realistic when it comes to the running back position. Like it's just, it's a situation that just right now, honestly, guys, it just, it's not as critical as a lot of other positions, right? It's one of the most easily replaceable positions. I mean, there's a lot of really good running backs out there, and you can find guys, you know, in the middle to late rounds and even undrafted guys a lot easier than you could find, say, a quarterback, a pass rusher, a left tackle, stuff like that. So that's kind of where I am. Like, I would love – if if running back was so critical still, I would have no problem paying JT, but, like – my, I guess kind of where my hang up is, is be realistic with where you're at when it comes to running backs, right? Still pay JT, but like you look at the teams that have, you know, paid running backs mega amount of money. They, for the most part, pretty much regretted it recently. So it's unfortunate that like the running back market is where it is, but I think you have to be realistic when you're these running backs and just realizing that's just kind of where it's at right now when it comes to the running back position. And so I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts like it's not really fair for either side. And I hope that both sides can come to an agreement because I definitely want Jonathan Taylor to be a part of the Colts present and future. But with that being said, I don't want to hand out this mega contract because, you know, it's shown that the shelf life for a running back, it's short. It really is short, right? I mean, so many running backs, you know, a couple of years in, they get banged up and they're just never the same. So that's kind of what I wanted to clarify when it comes to running backs. I totally understand, and I, I think both sides have really legitimate arguments. But I guess where I stand is let's be realistic when it comes to running back. Let's be realistic with where the game is right now and go off of that. It's not fair. Certainly not. It's not fair for running backs, but it's just kind of where we're at right now, unfortunately, when it comes to doing this. With that being said, definitely want Jonathan Taylor to be a part of what the Colts are doing moving forward. So just wanted to make a clarifying video for anybody who might have kind of taken my comments and thought I didn't want Jonathan Taylor a part of this team. That's not the case at all. I definitely want JT a part of this team and what they're doing moving forward because I think it is critical to have you know a player like him to help a young player like Anthony Richardson develop and kind of take the pressure off of him as a rookie. So let me know, guys, your thoughts overall when it comes to the running back position, Jonathan Taylor, this whole situation with Jim Mersey and Jonathan Taylor's agent yesterday. But just wanted to make this quick clarifying video. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. And as always, go Colts.